And shifting focus to Uganda, where it seems the government has found some new enemies. Only this time, it is not armed militants or infiltrators, but TikTokers who have been detained by Ugandan authorities for insulting the president and his family. At least three TikTokers in Uganda have been recently arrested. The influencers reportedly shared content on a social media platform, which, as per prosecutors, was intended to ridicule, degrade, demean and promote hostility toward the first family and others linked to the ruling party. They face charges of hate speech and spreading malicious information against the President Yoweri Museveni and his family. Those detained are of ages 28, 21 and 19. Two of them appeared in court on Monday and denied the offences. It is not clear which of their videos led to the arrests, but one of them, who goes by the username LuckyChoice70, reportedly posted a video in April criticising the first family using sexually explicit terms. This is not the first time TikTokers have faced such action in Uganda. In July of this year, a 24-year-old TikToker was sentenced to six years in prison for the same charges. The sentencing and arrests are a part of a broader campaign by security agencies in Uganda to crack down on people using social media to insult senior government officials. In September, a police spokesperson cautioned the public against abusing the president, calling it an offence. Now, these curbs over media and internet freedom have raised concerns over the governing style of President Yoweri Museveni, who has been ruling the country over the past four decades. In 2022, he introduced a new law called the Computer Misuse Act, which targets those spreading malicious information and hate speech. Since then, several content creators have been jailed under this act. The law has sparked international concerns. The U.S. government has reportedly accused Uganda of restricting Internet freedom through the use of criminal punishments. Rights groups are also regularly denounced by Ugandan authorities over violations of human rights. Now, several digital activists in Uganda have protested against the controversial legislations. The crackdown on freedom of expression in Uganda also comes when public dissatisfaction with the government is on the rise over other issues. Earlier this year, several young Ugandans held anti-government rallies to protest against corruption and other pressing issues in the country. Now, these protests were also mobilized through social media. However, these rallies were suppressed as the authorities used stringent measures to curb the demonstrations. Hundreds of protesters were also arrested. And now the use of force, violence and laws to restrict freedom of expression has raised fears over the future of Uganda under the continued authoritarian rule.